Konnichiwa, Roxette here and I have a new video for you today. I am trying to organize my stuff a bit. It's October 30th and a Tuesday. I just want to give a quick shout out to my eyebrows. They're never going to be this thin again. Some people are complimenting that they like the arches but it's not for me. I'm not feeling the, these brows. Anyway, um, the content of today's video will be my bag collection. For those who know that I'm a minimalist might come out and bash me and say, you're minimalist if you have a collection. Doesn't that sound contradicting? Um, yes, it does. But let's not go on to extremes on how minimalism should be defined because for me, Many things have multiple dimensions and for me, minimalism is about living simply for the things you should prioritize. Like for me, it's important that I focus on my duties in church, at home, at work, um, to my family and my friends. And so it's not necessarily about not having stuff. Uh, for me, it's simplicity and when it comes to um, living my life to the fullest or the way I know how to live it. And while I do become more intentional with the stuff that I own, there are some things that I don't mind accumulating and maybe I would say it now that I don't mind having them, but there's no certain certainty that I will still have them 10 years from now, but as long as I have that vision in my mind that it's important that I own them right now because, you know, it's not that it's an essential, but it's good to own them, then that for me is considered as intentional. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually... I just noticed that a lot of my things come from the men's section. But one thing I noticed in the department stores here in, in my country is that if you're looking for a basic eye aesthetic that has a good quality and for cheaper price, go to the men's section because you will most likely find it. Contrast is just so different. So, pro tip. Yeah. So, this video is not sponsored, but I noticed that majority if not all of the bags I own come from one brand from the men's section at the department store and it's this brand called Salvatore Man. I'm not sure if this is by SM Supermalls but the acronym or abbreviation just happened to be SM. I don't know if you should call it a collection or just a curation or what. It's this <clears throat> suitcase yeah traveling suitcase from Rainer Polo USA so my dad got this for me as my very first ever suitcase um, in my entire life <laughs> and this came from Malaysia I just like that it's you know it's basic it's black and when the, the time I got this I, I think it's really cheap so while personally now I prefer those um, hard shell suitcases, so it's just a very basic suitcase that opens to the side. It has a side pocket and um, there's no straps on the inside, just a basic open setup. This uh, is perfect for cabin, for your cabin compartments. And yeah, it's just my usually this is my carry-on bag. So next bag is another travel bag and this is actually my usual go-to weekend bag or overnight bag. This is the um, This one. I don't know the model, but this is from Camel Active. Again, it's from the men's section. Everything you're gonna see here is almost from the men's section. So it's just a basic um, duffel bag. It's um, pretty flexible it has a lot of pockets which is good I watch a lot of videos on YouTube where people fit their entire life in like small backpacks so it's not impossible for me to fit mine too if ever I went onto that road of extreme minimalism and just travel with one bag I don't know but I wish so I have a bunch of um, pouches so but they're still bags 
and uh, I got them for free. Like these two, these are from Dove, and these are um, like wash bags, so you can fit your toiletries in or any wet clothes. So I just find that it's cool to um, compartmentalize your um, stuff whenever you're packing, so you stay organized and everything is easy access. So I have this shoe bag, of course its purpose is for shoes, but when I'm not putting shoes, you must clean it first because I use this to um, put clothes in or once again as a pouch to compartmentalize my stuff. This envelope, I'm not sure what this brand is, but yeah, that's the brand and it's just perfect for my choir, choir stuff which is basically my clear book that fits here perfectly and if I have extra stuff like my phone, my keys, or the keys, my kids, or anything else, I can shoot it there nicely and I don't have to bring any other bag with this one. And probably the only bag from the women's section that I have is this bag from Park Ball. Look at them hummingbirds, it's so pretty. So this is actually from my sister. This perfectly fits my phone and my uh, wallet which is super convenient for when I wear clothes that it has no pockets. So last year I got this on a buy one take one. You must have seen this from my other hauls. But I got uh, this backpack that has an opening, a huge opening so that on top as well as a side opening. But I really like this back backpack because it just fits everything. When I have like a day trip and you know, I'm a backpack girl, I think. I mean, I only own one backpack now because I need to be curated with my life, but backpacks are awesome. So I have this briefcase for when I miraculously own a laptop again someday. And it's in this pretty mustard color because even though I got this from the men's section, I still want something that would suit my style. And one of my colors is, you know, earth tones. And there's, it's just a basic uh, briefcase with a laptop case inside as well as other compartments. Yep. And it comes with a built in strap as well as adjustable straps for, you know, if you want it over the shoulder or across the body. They come in their own dust bags. I'm not sure why my previous bags didn't come with their own dust bags. And these are the bags. I'm going to show them to you now. It's sort of like a buy one take one because specifically it's like um, any two bags pay for the higher priced item. This black basic shopper tote bag. This is a leatherette so I still need to be careful. It's just a basic tote with a zipper on it. It's super duper pretty. Let's just look at that basic detailing. You know me, I like all my stuff you know, just simple and not so flashy. It, it looks nice when I wear skirts and dresses because sometimes the briefcase is a little bit too corporate and the backpack is a little bit too rugged. So just owning this simple tote, you know, just makes it suitable for, you know, when I want to look more um, feminine. Okay, so the last but not the least, probably my favorite right now, is this. <sighs> Isn't it pretty? So. This um, is designed to look like a clutch. It comes with its own strap. Don't want to bring a very big bag all the time. I want to be hands-free as much as possible. Like when I want to bring an umbrella or a hand fan because it's hot and rainy in the Philippines, it will fit my phone too, it will fit my wallet. I'm so happy about this bag and look at that delicious brown that is so pretty and once again this is just a leatherette so you know let's go vegan and you know synthetic as much as possible because we don't want to harm any animals just for our own benefit so that's pretty much it for this video i hope all is well with you till next time bye i have so much bags ready Fly into the light of a dark black night